here to give you a quick tip on number sense and multiplication with decimals. Now, here I have three problems. I have five times three and four tenths equals 17. Three and one tenth times two, six and two tenths equals 1,922. Six tenths times four tenths equals 24. We're gonna talk about, quickly, we're gonna talk about where we should put the decimals. Let's look at the first example. Five times three and four tenths. Well, we think about this. Five times three is 15. So, when we're doing this problem, it makes sense that the answer should be about 15. Therefore, our answer should have a decimal after the seven. Now, when you have a decimal, you also want to put the zero behind there. So, that makes sense. It's reasonable using our number sense. In the second example, we have three and one tenth times six and two tenths equals 1,922. That's not gonna work. So, we look here. Three times six is 18. So our answer has to be close to 18. Therefore, our decimal should go in after the nine because 18 and 19 are close. And finally, six tenths times four tenths equals 24. That doesn't make sense because both are less than one, so my answer has to be less than one. Therefore, my number, or my de decimal, has to go before the two in 24 because the answer has to be less than one. If I put it between them, if I put it between them, my answer is going to be greater than one. Also, notice that there are two digits behind the decimal. And that's how you use number sense to help you with our multiplying decimal numbers.